Welcome back everybody, we are here with more Kingdom Hearts. This might be, uh, for some of you longtime followers, uh, this might be the most episodes that Steve and I have ever done in like a, like, a, not a single run, I should say, but like... Like in a, like in a single sitting. Like in a single sitting, because like, if you think about it, usually for all of you that are in the know, uh, one of the things is, is like, we tend to do like 15 minute episodes. And every single one of these episodes has been like 30 to 45 minutes. Right. So if you think about it, we've done like, we're about on our like seven slash eight episode right now. Yeah. And uh, I gotta say like, I as, as much as I've been like a negative Nancy and I, I, I talked a whole bunch of smack to my coworker and uh, Michelle, I wanna actively point this out. I'm sorry for talking so much smack. Uh, I actually am really enjoying Kingdom Hearts, uh, even though I'm not See like treasure chest. even though I don't have like an active role in playing it. I'm still enjoying the experience. Of yeah, reliving the kind of like high school nostalgia that comes with this. So, I, think, I think of a lot of it too is that like I mean the first Kingdom Hearts was an amazing game. Yeah. I think the second one is where it kind of starts going off the rails a little bit. Okay, so you think that about the second game is where we'll kind of like. It, that's where I think see. the game is like it jumps the shark a little bit. Okay, so we'll see how how like it, it lives up then. Yeah, I think okay. that's where we're like this one. I think is I I still think Kingdom Hearts one is a masterpiece of a game. Okay, I I I, I could totally be down with that. Like I could totally see where you're coming with that. But anyways, uh, to move back into what Steve and I were talking about in the break, uh, we were talking about seventy six. Uh, Fallout, Fallout seventy six, not specifically. Soldier. Not, not the soldier's version. But nobody likes Soldier 76. Rude! Only, like... Soldier 76 likes the Soldier 76 version. I mean... I mean, I mean he doesn't. Does he? Because he keeps he changing clothes. He also just doesn't act. I don't think he actually likes himself. Really? I like, mean, as a storyline thing? Yeah, like, I think he... Oh, yeah, but then again, he's really mad because, like, he feels like he is the reason why Overwatch is now gone. Uh, he, he he takes a lot of what happened to all of his different soldiers very personal. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. I mean, think about think about the cinematic, right? And he's uh -huh. like, ugh, not a hero anymore. Not a hero. Old dogs die hard, or some old shit like that. Old habits die hard. Oh, old habits, I'm sorry. <laughs> old dogs die hard. <laughs> no, I mean, no. look, at, look at old Yeller. Oh, he God. went down like a beast. Well. Which, by the way, Thank you, Disney, for not putting Old Yeller into this game. Yeah, that's the thing. Because, oh my god, the tears. Anyways. Anyways, we were talking about Fallout 76. Yeah, Fallout 76. We're just, the game comes out, uh, this is going to give a little bit of, ooh, Shadow of the Mystery. On, no, it comes out on November 14th. Whatever, Tom. It, it comes out next week. Oh, no. The, you ruined the mystery. The mystery is ruined. You're, you're, you're dating us, bro. Bro. Why you do this to me? Now everyone knows what kind of date you are. Oh. Anyways, so it comes out next week for us. Uh, or post this recording. Yeah. And uh, Steve, Steve and I were talking about, like, if we were going to pick it up or not. Yeah. Uh, I've been a very big detractor of the game because, like, to me, Fallout 76 just reminds me of Ark with, mm -hmm. like, a, a Fallout 3 skin. Right. But you were going to say before we before we started the episode. Uh, I was just saying, like, you know, I'm going into the game with pretty low expectations. And uh -huh. basically my expectations is it's Ark with a Fallout skin. Like, that's really that's really all I expect out of it. The, uh -huh. the one thing I want out of the game is uh, I just want to get power armor at some point. Uh -huh. Which I know you can. I've seen seen screenshots of people with power armor. I don't know how easy I mean, it's going to be, but... I'm I'm pretty sure power armor is what everybody wants, so right. it's gonna be an end game thing. Probably. At least that's my opinion on Unless it. Unless it's like the Fallout uh was it four? Fallout four where it's just like, Welcome to the world of Fallout Power Armor. Yeah. But I mean like that was both good and bad. I I still have mixed feelings on that. So my opinion on the Fallout Four Power Armor uh <laughs> Bailout, handout, whatever <laughs> bailout. you want. I mean, it's like a government bailout. It's just like, oh no, you don't have power armor. Here you go, bro. Here you go. Everyone gets power, power armor for armor. all. But uh, like, looks like it's locked. 
So put my key in it, bro. Seriously, man. If I remember correctly, you have to have like the key of the of this particular you, world. You you need to have the Traverse Town key. Yeah. And that was one of the things because like Sora like points it and he's just like laser beam unlocked. Yeah, I don't think you get that until you go to like the first like actual Disney World. Um, yeah. In Florida. The first yeah. one should be Tarzan, if I remember correct. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like 90% sure I'm it's Tarzan. I'm pretty sure you're right. Uh, it's been too long, and I honestly uh, don't remember anything about this game. But, um, yeah, so, like, I think that Fallout, you're going to get power armor early on, like 76. Yeah. But the thing is, is it's like... You can customize your power armor, kind of like power, like Fallout 4 did. Right. Where it's like, hey, if you are a stealth-based player, here's stealth add-ons. Oh, that'd be kind of neat. Here's strength add-ons. Here's like, you know, super cool, awesome, fun time add-ons. And so, like, you can add on different things. Huh. Oh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Louie does an okay job. Hey there, what do you want? Um, I'm here to shop. Why are there children running a shop? I don't know, man. Especially an item oh, shop tense. that sells drugs. It's like, hey, you want to buy an ether potion? Yeah, sure. What's in an ether potion? Well, we have... Uh, oh, you know. We meth? have uh, a medical root that was grown near a mammoth font. We have fresh spring water. And like... 10 Ooh. or 20 hefty scoops of LSD. I like that you just get a cottage. Like it's just in my pocket now. It's like, Here you go. Some cottage. No, it's not a real cottage. It's cottage cheese. It's just a handful of no. cottage oh, cheese. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and he just shoved in his pocket. <laughs> Here you go. I got oh. cottage. Oh, oh, this is awkward. I don't like this. No, it's just like Sora because he's just the murderer. Was just like, yeah, I got caught. <laughs> oh and my then god! Donald and Goofy are just like, uh. Now I want an actual like RPG game where you actually do play, like you just play as a hobo, mm -hmm. um, who's just like, you get caught up in this like kind of fantasy universe, uh -huh. and so everyone at some point you have to kind of question like is this actually happening? Like like, like, like or am some, I just a crazed hobo? Like there there are points where your character sits there and you'll be talking to random NPCs and then those NPCs will say things that aren't like period appropriate or theme appropriate. Yeah. Like you'll be walking and you'll be like in a big old town and you'll walk inside of an item shop and then all of a sudden one of your NPCs inside of your team will like grab your character and jerk them back and like, no, don't walk into the street. And you're like, like you look around at the street and you're like, there's nothing here. There's, there's nothing. What the hell are you talking about? And oh man, that would be like so messed up. That would be so messed up. And so that in the game, and so there's a point in the game where you're like, Am I actually just a hobo ro walking around murdering people? You out of nowhere. Oh. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the keyblade. Wait, who was uh, this again? This is Squall. But yeah, but why, I'm talking about the voice. Oh. oh, this is um not hey, Lance Bass. Uh, Boreanis? Never mind. Oh yeah, David Boreanis. Let's I thought you were about to say Joey Fatone. What? <laughs> there's no way you can miss. What? I know NSYNC. Then have it your way. I loved NSYNC. Oh, Steve. Oh, wait. oh, I was taking a drink. No taking drinks. No drinking on the job, bro. No, Squall. Stop it. You're you're wasting all your ma your magic. There's like no draw points anywhere in this world. It's not how this world works, man. Come on, oh, bro. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Did you not, like, beat the shit out of me? No, I'm sorry. You deserved it. Oh, okay. That that that, that is squall logic. Squagic. Squagic. Welcome to Squalgic. I just like, I do like the idea of squall. <laughs> just like, this is Squagic. Squall, stop that. <laughs> no. That is ill squagical. <laughs> oh... Now I'm getting squalched. You're making me squalgry. 
Oh man. S Squall, that doesn't even work. I'll give you Squalgic, I'll give you Il Squalgical. But come on, man. I don't remember if you're supposed to get your ass kicked here. I don't remember. Because I feel like he is, uh. But I'll check my memory feel like he is book. Kicking like, kicking my ass. Like, I don't know if you want to take a potion right now just to be on the safe side. But, uh. Good. Mm. I, I have enough potions, I think. Uh, let's see. Squall jumps around quite a bit and packs quite a punch when you see his hand light up. Quickly move out of the way. He can deal a crippling blow to your health if you the attack hits you. Uh, Squall can be quite difficult at this stage of the game. However, the game... Oh, the battle is completely optional, so you can win or lose. Okay. But if you win, you get 18 experience. Well, we're gonna we're gonna win. Simply attack when you find Leon is too close, and try to stay behind him rather than in front. I do like his like casual sauntering. I mean, that's how he was in the game, though. Yeah. Like, well, okay. Yes. In the game. Yes. Because I don't know if you remember this. Yes. High school Steve was real obsessed with Final Fantasy VIII and I Squall in particular. Remember? He was just like the mopiest bitch. Uh, he was. He was a mopey motherfucker. He was the embodiment of the emo kid who thought he was too cool. Yup. He like, sure did. That was... That was high school Steve. Yeah. Oh, yay! I wow. got 30 P. 30? Okay, apparently they upped the experience yeah. rate oh. in this in this version. Now you're, gonna... now you're gonna let me take a nap. <laughs> Sleep time. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. Is that Yuffie? Yeah. Yeah. Hot. I went easy on him. Shut up, Angel! Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Also, Yuffie, you are, um... You never fought him? You've never fought Squall. Just gonna say. You, uh... Or even fought by his side. You guys are from different Final Fantasies. Oh my god. I forgot I had this tab open on my phone. Is it porn? Mm, it might as well be. <laughs> It is uh, Gina Torres's old show from 2000 to 2001 called Cleopatra 2525. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you're going to love this one, Steve. You're going to love my nuts. You're going to love my nuts. All right. So, for everybody listening, I want to take you on a trip back in time. We're going back in time! To the year 2001. Oh. When an exotic dancer oh. cryogenically frozen the year 20, 2001 is accidentally thawed out in 2525 by two female warriors who are fighting against evil robots, which have taken over the world. Jesus. The three join forces and try to escape the underground caverns to which humanity has been banished, meeting up with all sorts of strange creatures along the way. You okay? Wow. <clears throat> okay, so, let's play a game, Steve. Oh no, I don't wanna. Why? Was this exotic dancer cryogenically frozen? Um, is it multiple choice? Okay, Kyrie. Kyrie. Um. I'm the great ninja. No. Okay. I just want to know if you can figure out why they would cryogenically freeze. Uh, the save. The save. Uh, um, exotic dancers for the future. Mm -mm. Yeah. Get you want to try again? To no. Okay. It turns out that's how so, you. this character, the, to the 20th century exotic dancer named Cleo, Still, mm -hmm. that's why it's Cleopatra, uh -huh. was frozen 
due to complications that arose during her breast augmentation surgery. Well, oh I no! Beggars can't be choosers. Yep. Why don't you start making? Sense? Leo Patrick twenty five twenty five is a on. show about women who are okay. fighting against. You know there are many other worlds. Robots. <laughs> your castle in this because well, she is. They've been she had complications from a breast been. surgery that uh, required her to be cryogenically frozen came, for five hundred and twenty four years. Yeah. My only regret Heartless. is my bonitis. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? <clears throat> Apparently, my friend says that uh, her exotic dancing is a big part of how she defeats robots. That makes sense. You think about it. Like, really think about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it totally makes sense. In the most... Um, I am Sam? He was studying the heart. Asinine way possible. Yep. He recorded I am Sam? In a very detailed oh, yuck. Report. Gorsh. Oh. Gorsh. I like how they actually spell that. They're like, yeah. how does one spell Gorsh? Too many worlds. Gorsh. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. So is Mickey the king of all of these worlds, or is he just a king of that world? I think he's the king of all the worlds. That's right. Because I mean, Eris is aware of him. So, yeah. This is the key. Exactly. The heartless have great fear of the keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The I like how the keyblade like at the bottom it has an actual you. like so like uh how like keychain yeah. clip yeah. ring. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Wait a minute. What happened to my home? I'm just realizing this now. Kyrie. You know what? I really don't know. <laughs> Look here, David Boreanaz. We want you to sound as disinterested as possible. Like, please, just jack up the mope. Bring it to like an eleven, if you could, please. All right. <clears throat> I, I don't know who you are, but use um. Oh. Okay, that's why I know that no that voice. Hmm. So the voice of Yuffie is also the voice of Kim Possible. Nice. And I'll Don't be honest, off. I loved Kim Possible. You know, I never actually watched that show. It is a really good show, and there is a lot of like character developments and. And now we know how to open up treasure chests. Really? We had to. You had, had to, to set talk out that to her. You had to set off the trigger, dude. You know how video ga video games I work. I know. I told you earlier. I found a way to break one of the triggers in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm kind of interested to see if that bug ever got fixed Are in like ready? the 1.5 update. Uh -huh. I'm ready? ready. Yuffie, let's go join Aerith. She should be there by now. Yuffie, go. You got crushed. Let's go. Zoro, let's go. I'll fight this thing with my sword that actually doesn't affect them. Uh, I mean, his sword affects them. I thought it wasn't, though. Paper effect. <laughs> oh. Find the leader. Follow the leader, the leader, the leader. I think it's that gold one. Isn't that gold one right there? Oh no, they're all. It's yeah. the lighting. Uh, David Boreanaz, where'd you go? Ooh. You got a spirit shared. Oh no, I'm gonna share it. Oh, I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna share it. Ah, Kingdom Hearts. Ah, oh, Final Remix. <laughs> I final movie mixed all over. I'm sorry, Steve. I'll clean up. Ugh, you need treasure hunter like no one's business yeah. right now. I don't remember how or where you get it. You get it by level. I thought you got it earlier than this. Yeah, if you pick the staff, you get it earlier. Well, I thought, um... Because I know I picked the shield in my original. The, the setup I went with mm -hmm. um, is the setup that I pick here. 
Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And the abilities, like I, I vaguely recall having it way earlier than this, but maybe that. I mean, it's been years, years, ten thousand years. I don't know, maybe like fifteen, maybe like oh, eighteen. Ten. Thousand years. <laughs> Back at you. Are you uh, you good there? You get that uh, that hairball out? Yes. Ten thousand years. I had that hairball stuck there. You don't understand, man. Ten thousand years of a hairball. Whew. That's years. A, that's a that's a long time for a hair boo. Here, bowl. Here, bowl, there, bowl. Mm. Mm. I got something stuck in my throat. Now you have the hair, boo. I really, really do. It is uh, a really big shoe. Very annoying. I've got a, I got protection. Yes. Holy shit! Yes, There's so many do, of these guys. So. I don't know if these ever end. What do you mean? They just keep spawning. Uh, yeah, because you got to find the leader, and it's in the it's in the next zone. Yeah, you got to go to that door behind the fountain over there with the mural. I mean, it's good experience right now. Right. But you know, except for the fact that they like randomly will deflect you and then like do that like weird capoeira like kick. <laughs> capoeira. I mean, that, that, that's you're what, not wrong. That's what it does. That's, that's what, what it is. is. Whoa. Anyways, I have multiple protection charms uh, on? So we pick sure can. Uh, shield. Shield and sword. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. we, we got rid of the uh, thing. Yeah, we got rid of uh, So we the, didn't actually pick staff. sword, because technically you pick one to keep and one to get rid of. All right, so you will get treasure magnet level one at 27. Really? Yeah. But it seems like, uh, based off of how everything is working right now, uh, it might be a little... No. I feel like you can also get items that give you abilities or something like that. Like, I, I, I recall getting abilities from items or something. I want to say you're right, uh, but, like, if you're just leveling, like, pure, pure yeah. level-based stuff, you, you're going to get Treasure Magnet nope. at close to 30. You know what? I think you're right. I think there are like actual like item items, like the bangles and the, the the chains and whatnot. Right. That will actually give that to you. Yeah, that's what I want to say was the case. So All if right. I remember correctly, it's like right around here ish. Currently closed off. What did what did what did Leon have to say to he us? He said that this area was safe. Huh? Maybe I have to talk to Yuffie. Yo. First district is all clear, but I couldn't read that fast enough because I have poor memory retention skills. Uh, third, but she doesn't know about the third district. You don't know about the third district, so you're the Keyblade Master. Please be careful. Thanks. Are you the Key Master? Heck <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the, the rest of it. One is like something, the Key something Master. Something, Gatekeeper. The Gatekeeper. Yeah. I'm the Gatekeeper. Do you want to put your key in my gate? Because key in my gate. Even though you shouldn't be able to, because technically doesn't a key open up a gate? I think you're gonna open the safe now. Oh, because you got the thing from, from 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 the Ufers. Yeah, Yuffie taught me how to use a key. Yeah, it's like hey, hey, just slide that know, right in. Keys go into locks. Oh. Hey, we got a postcard. Uh, postcard. Excellent. Go get some more cottage. Oh, some cottage. Jobs. Or we can go and find the boss. Oh, um, boss, uh, you gotta go to Gizmo's shop. Oh, okay. Where, where you had all those cog yeah. wheels and things and blah, 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 because I definitely remember hearing my parents for the longest time. It's just white noise. Did you ever see the, um, they did a, uh, 
I'm like, I don't really care about you guys right now. I'm kind of, yeah, a little over you right now. So, did we ever uh, see? There was a, I want to say, like, College Humor did it or something. Uh -huh. They did a, like, Charlie Brown the Older Years or something. Uh-huh. And it's like Charlie Brown as an adult. Yeah. And it's, like, really depressing. Well, I mean, Charlie Brown and the show itself is kind of depressing. Yeah. Like, the, the best part of the Charlie Brown show is the dog. Like That's true. Snoopy and Woodstock are the bread and butter of what makes Charlie Chan, Char, Charlie Chan, I want to call them Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan. Uh, Charlie Brown, good. Cause, well, let's just be honest. Snoopy flying around in his doghouse is awesome. So awesome. What was he? What did he call himself? Like the uh, Red Baron? No, he his nemesis was the Red Baron. Oh, that was it. Why are you fighting everything in here? I don't want to fight it. I don't. I don't. I we're don't. We're supposed to come in here. I don't. I, I know we're supposed to come in here, but I thought we had a. Uh, I don't remember. Sure there's something. I'm sure we have to do something around here. There, there is, but I don't we're know if it's like. Leader. I don't know if it's like we need to like inspect every inch of the zone, or if we have to go somewhere, or if we have to like find Donald and Goofy, or uh, you know something. Right. But there, there's eventually a point where uh, that that beginning part of Traverse Town becomes unsafe because the boss like is supposed to appear there or something. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on here, but it's weird to me that there's like infinite spawning enemies in this area. You I don't know? think they're infinite spawning. I think they're just waves of enemies. Because if you notice, like. Now that the enemies that I'm fighting are theoretically harder, because it's like four of these guys, whereas before it was like one of these guys and a bunch of the little guys. Yeah. Well, now we're back to the one of them and a bunch of the little guys. Yeah. Oh, we got a, another shard. Now I'm, now I'm unsure. Yes. I don't know if I'm I can just... I'm always unsure. See if you... Oh, well, now there's even more. You know what? I'm gonna go check my memory again. All right. Ooh, sorry, I learned everybody. Berserk, though. Hmm? What? Learn Berserk. Nice. Does that mean that? I you're... wonder if they changed it for this one. They might like, have. Maybe like I maybe you learn different abilities or something like that. Well, it, it depends. I, did you just turn level five? Uh, probably. What does Berserk do? Boost attack power when HP is critically low. Combine with a weapon skill for more power. Yeah, but you'd have to get rid of slap shop to use that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Let's let's try it out. Let's let's pl we'll play around with it for a little while. I mean, it's it's only when my HP gets critically low, mm -hmm. which is like that's kind of one of those like hopefully I'm not in that scenario to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Stop running around, jackass! Make your way back to the third district. Start down the staircase to encounter Donald and Goffy. Where the hell? How do you get to the third district? This will initiate a Kutsan. followed by Batiel. Uh, I believe third district wasn't that the one where you were like behind the 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 houses in in Wootnot? I don't know. Oh, it's right there here. There it is. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Um. I I thought that that said District Eleven and three quarters. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, everybody. You know what? Oh, you just turned level nine. Yeah. No, you're you're absolutely um at the right. You're no. It doesn't look like they changed it at all. Okay. Oh no, wait. No, they did. <sighs> Level nine is guard. Oh, really? Or it used to be guard. Oh, oh yuck! Oh, yuck! Gosh, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them. Go <laughs> um. Then they got their asses kicked. How are you, the king's guard? Sora's like, please, 
I'm just a child. Stranger oh, danger. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Link noises. Link sounds. Oh, Goofy. Goofy, why? Mm. Oh, why is Goofy just running around like a jack? Because that's what he does. He throws his shield out in front of him and then just runs around. Uh, that's how he fights. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Donald <laughs> annihilated that guy. Obviously, he's an emotion <laughs> wizard because he's just filled with the he's, fiery rage. He's a rage mage. Yeah. Oh, rage mage. Infinite mana! I am just chess pieces! Would you like to play a game? Oh man, you know what this reminds me of? Huh? What's his name? Uh, X KT, uh, KTXO oh. or whatever it is? Uh, XT something. XT something from uh, Ulduar. Yeah. Uldum. Was it Uldum? It was Uldwar. Okay, cool. Uh, Uldum was in the desert. Yeah, this just reminds me of the robot from Uldwar, uh, who would just be like, It's time to play! Do you remember when the mini pet was bugged? And instead of the It's Time to Play being broadcasted in short range, uh -huh. it was broadcasted to the entire zone. <gasps> Do you remember I that? I do. That was the best. That was horrifying. Yeah. It's time to play. She's like, no. No, no time to play. No more. Go no, away. Nobody wants it. Oh, no. I broke it. That and um, <laughs> the train. Oh, I remember Jen hated the train. Everyone hated the train. There's a reason they implemented the the train wrecker. The train wrecker. And if I remember correctly, the train wrecker, like, so the train was like 400 gold, and then the train wrecker was like five gold. Yeah. Like, it was dirt cheap that they're like everybody in your raid should have yeah. one. Like, we're not gonna change what the train wrecker does, what the train does. Yeah. But, but if you are, if you do not like it, you can get rid of it. Yeah. And then it became this, this struggle between players with the train and players with the train wrecker. Yeah. And it was amazing. Oh my God. And I, I loved it. Really? Right after I use a potion, you're going to just vomit out a bunch of health orbs? Uh, that's how it works, bro. You Don't you understand? Boy. Don't you understand how the Dorito chip works? I really, really miss the roll right now. The, oh yeah, well, because the roll is phenomenal. It is like the bat, the ultimate. Oh, by the way, that was really cool. You teched him yeah. and uh, like stunned the crap out of him. Oh yeah, I forgot about the slow mo. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna blow. Yep, I lied. I'm gonna fall apart. We got hearts. Here's your heart. Bye, heart. I have a heart to give. I got brave, brave warrior. Bravest warriors. So you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Careful, Squall. You're showing a little motion there. You come with us. <laughs> we can go to other worlds on our vessel. Yes, get into our car, little boy. <laughs> we'll take you wherever you want to go. We got candy. Sure? <laughs> yup. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Fucking look. Ooh. Oh, oh Goofy. <laughs> Goofy, calm down. Goofy. Gwarsh. Goofy loves the roofie. <laughs> oh, Goofy loves the roofie. <gasps> I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Max. <laughs> Oh, no wonder the mother's not there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> For a second there, I read that as happy feces, and I'm like, whoa, that's a weird boat. 
It runs on happy feces. <laughs> you just see Sora pull out like rainbow. Oh. Yep. He just whips out like rainbow colored spray paint and he's just like, I can fix it. So it's super weird. Mm. And I think maybe this is why the face is like weird to me. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of tell when they di redid some of it because they actually gave it like a bone structure and everything like that. Like there's actually oh, like they layers added to the like, face. They added more like bones to, yeah. the anim uh, to, the, to the model. And then there's other cutscenes you'll see him talking and his face is like two dimensional. Like it's flat. James Woods is talking. The, the child's strength is not his own. Oh. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. What on the eyes? Oh, They're God. all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Shut up. Enough. Love the council the of villains. Has chosen him. I like how she's the only one that's not bathed in shadows. Yeah. Not like we don't know who any of them are. I don't know who that first one is. The first Either one? Way, yeah. He could be no? Who was the first one, Steve? James Woods? Why are we going into James Woods? I don't know. Why are we? I don't know. Who are we? Are, are we chasing somebody? Is there a possible trail of candy we can follow to this answer? Make sure you're ready. You're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here. They've got pretty stuff. Well, pretty neat. Mandy Moore. 500 money. Mandy Moore. <laughs> is Mandy that she, Moore. Is that all she says? <laughs> Mandy that's, Moore. That's all I can see when I look at her. Bob Dole. No. <laughs> Bob Dole. No. Bob Dole. No. Good luck. Look uh, out for each Mandy other. Mandy Moore isn't even looking at us. Keep your spirits look, up. Look at Arian. Yeah, she, <laughs> she was not looking at us. Bob Dow. Bob Dow. Gummy ship is outside. <clears throat> mm, I remember building a gummy ship that was literally a block that was right here, which is the central command Ooh, point. What? I learned fear. No, no, you don't want to learn that. Give me the other thing. <laughs> Gorsh, you think I should give it to him already? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. thank God. Roll. Dad, roll. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, dad, roll. Jiminy, shut up. I want to roll. Oh, can't roll yet. Got to equip it, baby. <sighs> Get out of my house, slap chop. <laughs> nope, no slap chop. Oh, Only rolling. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, good. G yes, just go, Goofy. You're a rocket. Go. <laughs> you're a rocket, Goofy. Can't use it right now. Oh, you can. Oh. Hey, look at this mark. I wonder what it is. It's a Trini mark. Sora, Donal, and Goofy. And Goffy can use this all at the same Trinity. Wow. Oh. 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 Goodness. My. Gracious. We got a postcard. Great balls of fear. Fuego. El fuego. All right. So. I think you could have had it there. Yeah, that for whatever reason that like one table is like difficult to hit. I'm Which not one? sure this one here. So start off there, or you know, I oh I can wait, can I target them? You can mm. only <gasps> no no you can't target them. Wait maybe oh. I can. Uh, I that think makes it's it too very slow. difficult. Yeah, it's too slow. Yeah, especially with the rest of them there. Well, I don't know, cause it like it almost seems like you cycle through everything. You hit that. Yeah, right. See, that's the one I'm talking about. It's like weirdly difficult. It's like hit detection is off. We got this. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. 
We're gonna get this. We're gonna get it. 